Hey, what's up, world? It's Mr. Makassier, Makassier Clothing, www.mokacia.com. Make sure you click subscribe on that YouTube, Makassier 504, M-O-K-A-C-I-A 504. It's Mr. Mayfield, Mr. 504 Telling Me Show, the Gumbo Warrior, the Marine Mamba. So, what I want to talk to y'all about today is social distance and social cleansing. Social distance and social cleansing. So, in today and times, obviously, we got to keep our distance from one another and no handshakes will be preferable. No hugs, all that good stuff. About six feet apart from each other. You know, so you gotta keep that distance to keep one another healthy. You know, obviously shout out to all those heroes that's out there, the nurses, the doctors, the firemen, paramedics, the police officers, the grocery attendants, and even the ones that's still serving fast food. You know, shout out to you all for uh, putting yourselves out there to serve the people and putting yourselves in harm's way. Much respect to you. But as we keep this social distance from one another and have the social distance, this is a perfect opportunity to draw closer to yourself and to a higher power, you know, growing closer to God and, you know, spiritually and mentally being in tune with yourself and finding your center of gravity and finding your center of self and do some self-reflection, you know. But also what is important is the social cleansing. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of hidden messages, propaganda, invoking terror, invoking fear, you know, uh, making things more drawn out than they have to be and you know people are you know price gouging and hoarding and you know panic is setting in you know and there's a lot of things that are out there that is feeding into the negative that's feeding into all the evil and sometimes we allow those subliminal messages to get in our head and it begins to dictate our actions. We have negative attitudes. We have negative uh, outlooks on things. We're not actually doing the things that we're supposed to do that we know that we're supposed to do and that's keep a positive mental attitude in times of adversity. Some of us decide we wanna continue with tearing others down and speaking ill of others, you know, and that does absolutely nothing for you. So cleanse yourself of the negativity. Cleanse yourself of feeding into somebody else's insecurities. Because a lot of times we listen to people who have insecurities about themselves and instead of trying to work on themselves, they'd, they'd rather tear others down. So I want to challenge you to pull away from from the craziness you know and i know this sounds crazy because this is social media but at the same token you know sometimes you got to take a step back and and purify your mind purify your body don't sit there and eat all the junk food and all the other kind of stuff find different ways to make yourself better you know reading books playing with your kids finding different ways to to work out i get it the gym's closed you know, and there's restrictions on your movements, but nobody says that you can't get out of your house and walk. Nobody says you can't get out of your house and run. Nobody says that you can't find creative things in your house to get your cardio or, you know, you know, get your lift on. You know, take that, take that big roller, toilet tissue that you bought and just throw it against the wall and catch it. Never let it go up, go below your head. Do that for about a good two minutes. You'll get a little workout in, believe it or not. You know, 
air squats. Find different ways to challenge yourself to cleanse the negativity off of you. You know, eat healthier, eat smarter. Take this time to, to, to meal prep. You know, if you're not going to work right now, so obviously, you know, money may be tight. So you want to strategically make sure that you're not just eating to be eating. You're eating just to make sure that you sustain and be smart about it. It's a perfect time to, to learn how to food prep. You know, again, finding different ways to work on your body, reading books, educating yourself, you know, reading the Bible and, and other things to, to, to build your spiritual man and woman. You know, go out there and do these different things. Cleanse yourself of the negativity. So when it's time to see somebody else, and it could be somebody that you really don't care for, but if they're struggling, instead of tearing them down, you lift them up. So in their times of adversity, you lift them up in prayer. You know, if you see them out there winning, you know, lift them up with a positive word. At the end of the day, you take the moral high ground and not feed into the propaganda and the negativity and all these things. Cleanse yourself of all the negativity, man. So, hey, peace and blessings. Stay safe out there. Keep the social distance. Stay at home. And believe it or not, I'm not that far from my house, but I'm the only guy out here, so I actually I'm good. But uh, pray for one another. Lift each other up in prayer. You know, meditate, focus, strategize, and get yourself prepared. Keep the social distance, but also get the social cleansing. Go get that book, Gumbo Warrior, Recipe of a True Leader. It's corona-free. <laughs> But it'll bless your soul, man. Positivity over everything. The Marine Mamba. Have a blessed week. Peace.